It's cold, Pete. It sure is. Everybody knew that coming into work this morning or late last night, and everybody's going to figure that out really quickly. If you're not dressed appropriately, you're going to be freezing. Look at the numbers right now, and they're not really going to move between now and sunrise. Many of us in the single digits, some of us the coldest countryside, the airport near Ithaca, which is Lansing, Cortland, Erieville, Casanova, Hamilton, Sherburne, near Rome, even Syracuse and Watertown. Single digits are close to zero. Like yesterday, though, at least we're starting off with plenty of sunshine. A couple of things change today. First off, we will see some clouds over my shoulder increasing a bit by midday and afternoon. But we're also seeing numbers this afternoon feeling a little bit better. I say better because milder doesn't really place upper 30s to lower 40s when you say that word. But it's closer to normal. It's more seasonable upper 30s to lower 40s. Tonight into tomorrow morning, it's fairly cloudy. and I can't rule out some flurries or some sprinkles at any point tonight, even through tomorrow morning. But notice numbers are much higher than they are now or more last night. We're playing in the 35 to 40 range. Tomorrow, some leftover flurries and pretty cloudy. I think clouds are going to be fairly stubborn. Watch what happens late in the afternoon. Areas that get the sun out, like western New York, like the western Finger Lakes in Rochester, may get close to 50. I think we're probably not going to make it for most of the day, which is why I think low to mid 40s likely, which is still better than what we've had recently for temperatures. But if you're waiting for something even more significant, like what we had been promising for Wednesday ever since Wednesday was on the seven day forecast, we're able to keep that promise because take a look what happens for Wednesday. It should be mostly sunny and may mostly in the mid and upper 50s. If we can get enough of southerly wind, I think lower 60s will be very likely. Thursday will still be warm. Now, if we wind up getting to be drier Thursday, we could be significantly higher than 62. But for right now, let's just say back to back 60s, not too shabby, considering we haven't seen 60 since Thanksgiving, really. If you're like, all right, here we go, right? Next weekend, well, it's gonna get colder. Oh, well, at least we spring forward clockwise. Yes, that happens literally this weekend in a clockwise direction back inside.